Hello there, my lovely legionnaires. How are we doing today? <laughs> when the weight is dreadful, I don't know, I've never heard of this game. <laughs> The wait! The dreadful wait! It's over! It's over, chat! The game's out! Woo! <sighs> Shut up. Shut up. So, uh, it's dreadway time! Uh, for those of you who don't remember, dreadweight. Dreadweight was from the people who brought you Cooking Companions. This is their sequel to Cooking Companions from our dear, uh, from the dear people over at Dear Dream Studios. Um, I played the demo for this. Uh... On, I played the demo for this on stream when it was first out. James, thank you for the resub. Um, I played the demo for this game when it first came out, and I played the original. I played Cooking Companions, and we had the lovely people over at Dear Dream Studios uh, come check us out. So uh, today we're going to be playing the sequel. Big yawn. Uh, I wanted to be- oh, I wanted to be a little, uh, transparent. I did back the Kickstarter, um, for the sequel. Um, so we're gonna- you're gonna see my name. My name's gonna be in the credits. Eheto ble. Um, but I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm waiting for the day one patch to be done! So that we can start, I'm so excited! Ah! Any content warnings? Uh, I don't know yet. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. I don't know- I don't know nothing other than what we got in the- in the demo, which was very little. So let me... Let me turn off the jazz. Uh, oh, hang on, let me... Should be good now. I was like, oh, your DualSense controller isn't... And I'm like, oh yeah, I have to unplug that shit. <laughs> I'm stupid, it's fine. Alright. Hang on. We're setting everything up. Ba -ba 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 Gonna turn the. I want the sound effects up a little louder than the music. Um. I want the message speed to be fast. Uh, let's full screen. We can. 
There we go. All right. Start the game normally. Okay. You know the drill. We have to talk about this. I've talked about this before. I'll talk about it again. I love the game. Dear Dream, you guys are good. So I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you real actual genuine criticism. No no special treatment because they've been here before. This is really bad. <laughs> this is a really bad content warning. Uh, the children are those who are easily- you've gotta- you've gotta say! Especially when I know- I know that your shit deals with some- goes some dark places and deals with some dark shit. You have to say, this shit is bad. You have to- you have to outline your stuff. Okay, I was hoping that maybe there'd be another screen, but there isn't, so, yeah, okay, that's not good. Should be a content warning consultant? I'd love to. I That's something I'd love to be able to do more. I don't know, I just, I think stuff like this is really important. I think that, like, taking the proper, I'm cleaning my glasses. Uh, I think taking the proper safety precautions when it comes to stuff like this is really important. And no matter how much I love the studio, that's fucking garbage. You gotta, you, when you... Especially when you deal with stuff like cannibalism and the like, you have to, like, you've got to be a little bit more explicit in your shit. I have played Cooking Companions before. What? Oh, you're new? You were not here before? You lost, man? I haven't seen you around here before. I'm Jarek. Extend a hand to shake. No thanks. Do you have family around here looking for someone? I know everybody in Zakopan. You shake your head. Okay, uh, Miracle, you're completely dry. The storm's been going for days now. Probably it's a good thing you came here first. Welcome to stay with me until the- Oh, is this him? Grab some matches, be right back. Is that him? Is this, is this who we were? Okay. Interesting. How seems cozy. Zakapon has changed since you've last been here. Run a cup of coffee. Have you heard of Judge Louise? You think for a minute, but come up with nothing. He died many years ago. One of the best judges in Zakapon. Oh. <laughs> Yeah! What a- what a totally normal conversation to be having! G gone? I've read every entry at the courthouse. You're the Witch of the East. You match her description perfectly. Why did you come back here? You tell him. Hmm. No matter. Be famous after this. Your reign of terror ends here. Goodbye, witch. Okay. collapsed again. That makes five times in one hour. You need some help? You lick your lips. Back off. You cough, spraying potato in a fine mist. Well, at least you're awake now. You were sleepwalking again. Probably a horrific sight for bystanders. You ask potato where you are. Northwest from the cabin. Do you remember the note? Note? 
Dearest, I know you're supposed- I know you're still upset about Ivan. I'm asking the impossible, but please forgive me and let's end this madness. We're different. To lose track of time. To let feuds rot inside us, undying, while the rest of the world moves on. This isn't healthy. It took me ages to learn this. I'm asking you, please, to let this one die. Sincerely, the name is illegible. <gasps> Wick and Astra! Hello! Welcome, welcome, Raiders! It's so nice to see you! Hello there, my lovely legionnaires. I'm Heaton Mitsuru. I'm your friendly neighborhood abomination, eldritch abomination VTuber. I am a variety streamer. I draw, I play video games. I have a special focus on horror. It's so nice to see you, and I'm glad that you've joined us just in time to, for the beginning of Dreadway. The wax astronauts have landed. Awesome. Oh, I thought that said dead wave. No, Dreadway. Oh, shit. Hang uh, on. I have to. I forgot about this. I was doing a thing yesterday. Let me fix my fucking audio. Oh my goodness. You... Ah, hang on. What did you do yesterday? I was hanging out with, um, I was hanging out with Burke, Justin, and Dio, but Burke and Justin were in the room, so I popped my, uh, I popped my fucking audio out of my speakers. I'm a professional streamer. Shut up. I oh, believe that. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad. Thank you, Wicked Astra and Neuralgonus Art for following. I appreciate it so much. Just finished this game, got all but two endings, had a blast. Hell yeah. We need to talk to him about Ivan. There's bound to be others out there, too. Maybe we can get a nice meal there. You begin drooling profusely. Patience. Let's concentrate on the mission. Think you can make it there in one piece? You nod. Food focus. Good. I have a surprise for you when we get there. You're gonna love it. I promise. Potato jumps on your back, making a nest inside your hair. What surprise? Getting to cook companions? <laughs> oh, I see that. I don't. I don't know if you can see it, chat, but I can see it in the monitor. The the berry behind her. What do you want? I want to stop you. Oh. Reject potato or perish. You ask her what she wants. To forget about the horse. To stop terrorizing towns. You're marching to your death by going to the mansion. You know the tomes he's read. The rituals he's performed. You stand zero chance with those others three, too. I love it. Go shambling through the front door. See how long you survive. If these three don't kill you... I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth, wretch. Shocker! Very cool. You can't escape me. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Let me, I'm going to turn the audio up a little bit. I have the worst thought process, I swear. Yeah, I want to, yeah, let's turn the, let's turn the sound up a little bit. <sighs> Uh, oh my, hey, let me help you up. She's fine. I'll be the judge of that. She's tougher than she looks. You take her, uh, hold of Curtin's hand. Welcome to my mansion. It's in dire need of repairs, but I think you'll find it cozy. I'd like to introduce you to my business acquaintance, Renata. It's nice to meet you. Your name was... It's, uh... Don't mind her, Renata. She's exhausted from traveling earlier. Isn't that right? Yeah, my headache is pounding. Get that treated immediately by our doctor, Dimitri. Brief piece of critique. Uh, I'd either outline this text or, like, soften this, like, effect. It's a little hard to read. I think we have some medication that can help with that. Are you thirsty? You nod. Here's a cup of water. Try to stay hydrated. Quickly gulp down the water, feeling a little tickle in the back of your throat. I think I swallowed some hair. It's probably mine, sorry. And last but certainly not least, the world's best bodyguard, Gisela. Better do what she says. Nice to meet you. Wow. How much can you lift? Hey! I had episode more important than doing bench press at max. 
That's true. <laughs> if you are lucky, we can have lifting competition later. You have a bodyguard? The best security in the world. When your investments mature enough, you'll find the assassination attempts start pouring in. Who would want you dead? Old business partners, past lovers. Been around long enough to keep making enemies. Don't worry. As long as I am here, you are safe. We had someone breaking last month. Scared everyone here. Gisela tied him to a chair and broke every bone in his body. Why didn't you wait for the police? Do you remember the boat ride earlier? This mansion's on an island. No way for anyone to reach us in time. I... Dimitri, don't you have something for her? Nope, just recommendation. Get plenty of sleep when you're here. Your brain needs recovery after that fall. Okay. You experienced any adverse reactions since arriving? Nausea, vomiting, sweating. The fortitude's commendable. She didn't puke the entire ride over. These waters are awful this time of year. That's a miracle. No, I think I'm fine. If you notice anything different or unpleasant, please don't hesitate to tell one of us. Thank you, Dimitri. Best doctor in the world. Make yourself at home. We are delighted to have you here. My apologies. There's a phone upstairs that rings until you pick up the receiver. Would you be a favor and answer it? Sure. Thank you. Please don't mind the trash and uh, holes up there. Probably seen messier. Tutorial. Save the game right click. Okay. Yeah, this texture on the paper is a little aggressive. It just makes it a little difficult to read. Um. Oh, that's down. Okay. No, I've I'm a fool. Uh, volume levels. Back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving or remove progress you've made. Be sure to save often. Head upstairs to check the phone. Abby Cadabry! Thank you for the follow as well. Sorry. Hey, Abigail. It's good to see ya. There it is. Who would be calling at this person. hour? I know that person. We don't want any. Wrong number. Head back to the foyer. Oh. I see. <laughs> How the hell are you? You tell him. Is that so? Hi, Maximilian. It's nice to meet you. Max Quex, nice to meet you. It's Maximilian! I'm not calling a talking duck- Or, that's not, sorry. It's the wrong voice. I'm not calling a talking duck, Maximilian. Let's go with Max, then. How can you talk? That's a secret. I've lived in this mansion for quite some time. And you know what? I'm sick of it! I want to leave this mansion to go somewhere warm! You ask why he doesn't fly off the island. What a dumb suggestion! Kurt would annihilate me! He'd probably get his bodyguard to lock me in a birdcage or something worse. You want to help me out? Just open the box under my feet. There's some great stuff in there. You ask why you'd help a desperate talking duck. Because I have a cool bribe for you. No, love the, just coming out and telling me, huh? May this fortify our new friendship. You know... That's not the worst thing I've been offered in a horror game. Why does his face look like a Funko Pop? Thanks, Max. Someone once told me that rope could keep witches at bay. But that's a rumor! You need to boil items together with special ingredients for them to be effective. This rope, I use everything! Garlic, salts, forest herbs, wool of bat. Stuck up the cellar for months! Sturdy rope feels revolting to hold. Max? This reeks. <laughs> I thought you just boiled it. I had to get it really stinky. Don't you know anything about warding off witches? Why would I want this trash? Why would I listen to a talking duck? Because I'm the smartest creature in this mansion. You help me out, I'll tell you how to escape to safety. Escape? Why would I need to escape? You'll see. The quicker you help me, the quicker you can leave this place. Later. You wonder if what you just saw was real. Talking ducks shouldn't be brought up to anyone. Don't stress about seeing the outcome of every decision. For the best experience, play normally, except the outcomes. Some decisions made will not be seen until later in the game. 
Miss some text, click the log button at the bottom of the screen, skip dialogue you've already seen, hold on the control button on your keyboard. That's why we save at choice points, chat! I am not a visual novel newbie. I'm- I know my shit! You save at choice points, but, uh, but yeah, during my first playthrough, I just- I just do whatever. I- I do what feels right. Thanks for taking care of that. Who called? Nobody. Wrong number. Hopefully someone isn't tapping the phone here. You're so tremendously and aggressively suspicious. I keep being almost assassinated and there might be people tapping my phones. I'm totally not weird or suspicious at all. Again, welcome and please don't hesitate to make yourself at home. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to take care of some paperwork. Hi sir. Kirk goes up a staircase, closing the door to his bedroom. He's gonna go make an accounting error again. At least he pays on time. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, he's weird. No, it's in one. Sorry. Everyone, how did you meet him? I can't remember the exact date, but he hired me to get his finances in order. He needed an on-site doctor to help him treat patients that he brought here. I met Kirk while working at the lumber yard. He came out of nowhere, asked to see how I could handle X. You use axes? Hell no! X is the backup. Fists are the primary. <laughs> my primary and secondary firearms. I call them my left and my right. <laughs> Gisela is so, highly skilled at course, close quarters combat. We had a so more best here. character, got it, okay. Are no. Truders really that big a deal here? You'd be surprised who comes snooping around the mansion. So many people want him dead. He made some powerful enemies. Anyway, please enjoy your stay here. Let us know if you have any questions. You got it. Excuse me, I need to take care of some things. Later! The direction's leaving you alone. Who do you want to talk to? We say that choice points. Let's... I'm very intrigued by Kurt. I want to know what the fuck is up with him. He's real weird. Damn. Try to recurse trace Kurt's steps upstairs. Kurt, what room are you in? First door on the left! You open the door slowly. God, he's British, too. I'm making him British. Oh, animated cutscenes? Hello? Upgrades, people? Upgrades? Dang. That was, like, kind of high quality, too. This is really cool. I, okay. Another, like, super brief, like, surface level critique. And this is, this is stupid. I'm picking mitts. Uh, the art's a little inconsistent from CG to sprite. I don't know if they're the same artist. Probably not. Uh, but the, the art style's a little inconsistent and it's a little, it's not bad. Like, it's, like, it's, it's not terrible, but it's, it's noticeable. Greetings. Had some questions for you. Is this another interrogation? Ask away. Uh, how do you afford the mansion? Investments that accrued interest. I learned early on, slow growth investments pay dividends. Poor rich guy, nice. Guilty! Have any other questions for me? Uh, what job paid so well? Scientist. I'll show you the laboratory. Uh, I mean, next week. Next week, Kurt? Dimitri didn't clean it yet. Got any other questions for- Oh, you're doing weird shit. You're doing weird shit. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. I've selected each of you to help study and further my research. Renata for her quick decision making, Dimitri for his genius, Gisela for her raw strength, and you... You've shown incredible courage, which is rare nowadays. Courage? Don't be humble, yes! You've been in some extremely dangerous situations. Like... Meeting me. Just kidding. You're... You're so weird. I... This is... I'm eccentric. I'm obviously the Tumblr sexy man that has nothing wrong with him at all. This is a white-haired anime boy. You're you're gonna do something really fucked up to me. I've already told of you. Not. Science. Pursuit of science. Which science? Mix of chemistry and biology. What kind of research do you conduct here? I uh looks like Kurt doesn't have an answer for you. Look, you strap a missile to one squirrel one time and suddenly people call you a mad scientist. It's complicated, but we need you to test for scenarios. What scenarios? 
Well, uh, like, if someone can get rid of spirits in the mansion. Spirits? You believe there's ghosts in the mansion? Uh, maybe not ghosts, but something like that. There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh? Maybe you're right. Pretty great, just shouldn't have any issues with them. It's like I picked correctly. Kurt will remember that. Uh-oh. Uh, I will remember this conversation. I'm afraid I couldn't keep anyone to keep up with the routine maintenance. I used to only come here during the summers, but it's obvious it needs more upkeep than expected. Couldn't you hire someone to maintain it? Can't find anyone locally. Just let me know if you think of any. What was that? Sounds like it was coming from the foyer. Let's go. Follow Kurt downstairs. Finally. This is the spot. Oh, I like the detail that the UI is totally different. Oh, so we're not... So the protagonist of this isn't the witch. We're, we're somebody else. Okay. It's time to punish him for what he did to you with Ivan. You grip the knife so tightly your hands begin to shake. Once everything is finished, we'll have a big meal to celebrate. I don't need to tell you how difficult this will be. Do not disappoint me. Almost forgot. I have a surprise for you. Close your eye. Oh yeah, I only have the one, huh? Everyone is sus. Mon sus battle uh. bus. Oh! She's pissed. Chompets, speak up. Always fear, Onion is near. Like Clipbread used to say, I'm dying to beat him. Are they real? Listen, I know this may be a bit of a shock, but there's been a few changes to the group. I'm not the leader of the Chompets. You asked Potato how that happened. We had an election. Cabbage versus me. He threatened us with a knife. He flies me. I'm sorry. It was three votes against two. I'm so sorry, Chompettes. Chompettes! It's important we all help her out at the mansion. The games are over. It's time to correct the pain he's caused you. You ask Cabbage oh, if she thinks shit. about this direction. The leader dictates our position with you. You ask Potato when the next election is. I passed a resolution once I won. Next election occurs 1,000 years from now. It'll be a miracle if you survive that long. 1,000 years? Your brain has become softer and more full of holes. It's true. Uh, when you, when you eat people. So fun fact. Fun cannibalism fact. There is a disease. It's called Kuru. You get it when you eat human brain tissue. Uh, and that's literally what it does. It just punches holes in your brain. I think it's bacterial, if I remember correctly. Uh, you don't get it from eating muscle tissue. So, like, if you ate somebody's leg, you wouldn't. It's, I think you only get it from eating brain and spinal tissue, I believe. It's important we fill those gaps with the right kind of material. I brought them back to help guide you in the right direction. You ask how? That's my secret. I'll make you a deal. If you kill everyone in the mansion, I'll get them to leave you alone again. But if you fail, you'll get to play ghost in the graveyard forever. Your stench will reach new heights. We could memorize thousands of cornbread's jokes. Fair trade. You nod. Excellent. He's as bony as you, but don't let your guard down. Let's frighten them first. That usually leads to mistakes being made. Once they're in a state of panic, we can pick them off one by one until only he's left. He'll tell us where it is once it's just him. Come, let's end his plans. For such a cute little potato, you sure are diabolical. Keaton, how do you know that? Uh, I know a lot of things. Uh, yeah, Chad's like, how do you know that? How do you know that? <laughs> I know a lot. I'm, I need you to understand, chat. Heaton is sus. Well, no, you need to understand, chat. As uh, the Sclera Magne, as the mother of all seeing and all knowing, I, I know a lot of things. 
And you I say know, I'm the one with the cursed knowledge. I I know a lot of things about a, I know a little bit about a lot. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, he I already knew that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Probably just to taunt us. She's, in, she's inside now. She'll kill all of us. She broke through multiple deadbolts. The day's finally come. I'm ready for her. Gisela. I feel I feel like I'm out of the loop here. Who are you talking about? She goes by many names. Which, crone, phony niece, her real name is you immediately forget the pronunciation. It is the Baba Yaga we are. If you did not see the first game, we are a main antagonist. She is Baba Yaga. But are you riding around on the mortar and pestle? I don't know. I don't think so. The surviving witch. She is an insatiable appetite. She lived in a cursed hut in the Tartarus Mountains, kidnapping people from nearby towns and devouring them. She eventually became too feeble, unable to leave her cabin or go outside. Refugees and lost ones would be drowned to her hunt. She never had to leave for food. Decades ago, something happened. She left her home, like the old days, travelling across the globe. The first city she terrorised was Zakopon in Poland. It was horrific. She broke down doors with her bare hands, clawing her way inside homes and businesses. It rained for hundreds for a hundred days after she arrived at the city, turning the city into an uninhabitable wetland. Any survivors that attempted to escape were hunted down. Only a handful of people remained by the end. The massacre is known as the Summer Rain in Poland. What? I mean, she will eventually die of old age. We need to end her reign of terror tonight. I had a few weapons around the mansion in case something like this happened. Some useful items in the upstairs hallway. I think you should check there first. Afterwards, we'll meet up to confront her. Just in case you need to open something, take this bolt cutter. Bolt cutter? Here? Why do you have a bolt cutter laying around? Not very fond of chains and locks. Add to inventory, yes. I don't know, I'm a big fan of chains. Have fun. Okay, doors with padlocks on them tend to seal off some dangerous lab areas. Sounds like you really need to repair this dump. You're right. Kurt, I think we should fortify the mansion. It's a great idea, Gisela. Can you help her with that? Of course. Thank you. Follow Gisela to the windows. They get right to the end of the hallway. Can you insert that first? On it. There it is. Insert it. Yes. We don't want any! Did you repeat that? I'm not joining another- I'm not joining an MLM! Were you about to say another? No, I was going to say- I was going to say it and- yeah, I did say another. I'm not joining another. What do you mean another? What's going on with the radio? Looks newer than anything you've seen before. Seems to be broken. Hmm. Hold on to the radio. radio. Oh! Oh, I see! <laughs> What's wrong with the radio? Yes, 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 yes! Can you dance to the music as you explore the mansion? Oh! It's another Funko Pop animal. There's a talking rabbit, too? Yes. My name is Clover. I take it you've met my associate, Max. Well-intentioned, but unfortunately, he's misinformed. You ask Clover what she means. Kurt gives him bad requests. What the fuck does that mean, Clover? Oh, <laughs> sorry, deep in thought. You like reading? <laughs> you shrug. Kurt lost tons of notes and books over the years. Please help yourself to them. Let me know if you find anything hard to reach. Sure, Clover. Thank you. By the way, I entered the call and it's just immediately, what the fuck does that mean? You Welcome really came a at a bad time. Sorry to say, but you have no chance of stopping the witch. She can rip out the spirit from a swimming fish. It might be time to make your last moments more comfortable. However... She's only concerned with Kurt, which means what? It means she'll spare us if Kurt is killed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gonna resticles now. It's two thirty a.m. Oh yeah, absolutely. I wish you good eeps, Wick. Thank you for thank you for entrusting your community to me. I will take good care of them. Okay. My instinct says 
that we should kill him. <laughs> kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. No, not the rabbit. My instinct says we should kill Kurt. I have this feeling in the pit of my stomach that he is very, very bad and very evil. And I think I'm gonna, I, th I think, I think for our first pass, I feel like that's, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. You'll need to first get rid of Gisela. She monitors Kurt the most. I recommend using her as bait or waiting for a good opportunity. Be warned, weapons, like guns, won't work against her. She's far too quick on her feet. You'll be disarmed immediately. Once Gisela is gone, you can hide while the witch finishes him or take care of Kurt yourself. Help me, and I'll tell you how to get off this island. Fair trade? You nod. Wonderful! Sorry to drop this on you so quickly. If I don't tell people when they arrive, most will die before I get to speak with them again. So I wanted to make my case early. Th thank? Thank you? Got something yeah. to help you out early. Here, take this. Tarnished pendant. Uh, yes. Trying to inventory. Oh. Gisela's gonna wonder where you are. Go help her, at least for now. Later! Maybe best not to tell anybody with a talking duck and rabbit. You head over to Gisela. Okay, so... I feel like... The... I feel like the duck... I feel like the duck's up to something, too. A little south of nails. Was a bucket in cellar. Can you go grab some? Sure. Awesome. Let's get the lust, okay? No, I won't. You head downstairs to get the nails. You're the best! You're super cool! I don't, I don't make the rolls, she's the best character. Looks like a fuse was blown. Got a bucket of nails. Add to your inventory. Yes. I love that PNG. Add a bucket of nails to your inventory. Go back upstairs to Gisela. Welcome back. Got something for me. Got a bucket to give nails to Gisela. A uh, bucket of pristine nails. Worth money somewhere? Thick rope. Great for detaining witches. Perfect for cutting chains. Pendant sealed shut. Maybe this has greater use. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Give Giselle all the nails. Life saving. Cool. Thank you. Cool, 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 Leo. Cool, 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 cool. No problem, but I think their wiring is having issues? We'll fix that later. Thank you for letting me know. Of course. Found this in the same spot as the hammer. You want it? Ooh, yes, please. Added wrench to your inventory. We're going to finish with the board, so you go meet up with the others. You have to go to the foyer. It's time to twist some nuts! Ba -da -da. She's here. I can hear her creeping around. I'll stay here in the foyer with Gisela. There's some weapons hidden in the cellar and closet. Please assist either Renata or Dimitri in finding one. Who do you want to go with? We save at choice points. Uh, let's go with Renata. Because I know that the wiring downstairs is bad, and I have the distinct feeling that uh, our little doctor boy's gonna get got. Head upstairs with Renata. All right, let's see. Usually keeps another gun under one of these pillows. It's gone. Maybe Kurt took it and forgot? Or the witch took it when he wasn't looking. Possible, but the balcony windows are locked. Let's get back to the foyer. Right. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> I heard the screams. I, I heard it. The screams, and the boy! Kurt, what was that noise? I... Dimitri is dead. What? We found some blood by one of the crates, but we can't find the body. We saw him go downstairs, and as you know, there's not much room down there. She must have stabbed him and hid the body somewhere. Besides the staircase, there are any exits she could have used? Yes. This place is falling apart, so there's un unintended ways to move throughout it. So, she could be lurking anywhere. Which is caused why it's important to act quickly. Being indecisive may result in your death, or something far worse. I don't want to look in the hall. Chad, I don't want to look in the hall. Slow zoom is killing Jeff. me. Uh-oh. Cold wind blows up through the hall. Something is approaching. She's messing with the power. Renata, Gisela, I need you here. Can you go downstairs and try tinkering at the fuse box? Me? Alone? Can't afford to lose Renata, and Gisela's my only protection. Try your best to yell upstairs if she shows up, okay? 
Don't worry, I will run down if you make any noises. Besides, she's slow. You can outrun an elderly woman, right? You nod. Don't agree with that assessment, but thank you. Go on your feet. If you don't have a weapon, run. Forgot to give this to you. Found the fuse in the closet. Brought a bunch of them. Fuse box burns through them pretty quickly. Oh, okay. Into the fuse to your inventory. Head downstairs to fix the power. I don't want to do this. Right, generator. You must silent. do it. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Looks like there's something wrong with the fuse box. Spirits get more aggressive in darkness. The problem in front of you isn't solved in a timely manner. There will be dire consequences. Yeah, okay. Fuse uh, box fits perfectly. Uh, nothing here to loosen. Oh, well. Oh, God. I don't have anything else. I think I'm fucked. Yep! Hi, it's I me. was eaten. Continue? Yes, please. Oh! He did. Hello! Oh. What the fuck? Hmm? <laughs> what is going on? Juxtaposition. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Sure. 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 Video game. Sure. <laughs> wow. Stew is ready. Eat. <laughs> oh, I see a mushrooms in the stew. Are there any potatoes in here? Carrots. Meat. Sweetie, you know my cauldron is always full. With bone broth, maybe. I recognize some of these mushrooms. Amanita phalaudes. Portionarius aurelis. Quite a cyberphilophilia. Sweetie. You're no herbalist. Let's stop pretending. I'm not very hungry. I need to head out. I've been here long enough. You aren't leaving until you have a bite. Took a bite of the stew and immediately knew something was wrong. It tastes good. I tried to leave the cauldron, but I couldn't move. You can't run. I laid on the ground, writhing in agony. Months passed. She continued to spoon rotting stew into my mouth. Eventually she grew bored, giving me time to crawl to safety. She was right. You can't run from her, or her forest. Her roots span across the globe. He tossed a stone into the hole, waiting for the sound of it hitting the bottom. You don't hear it reach the bottom. Perfect. Cold wind drifts upward. Something is approaching. So this was before or after Cooking Companions is what I'm wondering. I think this is after. Like... Like, this- this part, like, what's happening in the mansion right now is happening after. I think what happened to Kurt happened before. Hello! Okay. <laughs> Why are you leaning over this pit? Wouldn't want someone to push you down there. You ask where Potato is. Who cares? The other chompettes are hard at work here. Investigating for clues, finding hidden roots. We're like little detectives. Onion's grandma would be so proud. Cabbage. Now that it's just us. Why did you give up being leader of the Chompettes? I don't like the fact that they have Nokotan faces. I didn't give up anything. You left us years ago. You can't even remember that? Tears begin to drip down your face. Cabbage, I... Are you... crying? Yeah, my man, what do we say about this? My bad. I am so confused. Ground, stammering as Cabbage looks at you. I'm having trouble finding the right words. 
Let's focus back on the mission. Go after Gisela last, and then you can interrogate Kurt. Please don't cry in front of me again. Chompets? Let's move out. You rub the tears out of your eyes, mixing it with the dried blood on your hands. No going back now. You hear Cabbage hopping up the staircase. She seemed different. No time to dwell on it now. Grip your knife and plot your next attack. Wake up, sleepyhead. Bro! <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't um, wanna- I don't wanna be here again! Not after last time! You fucking- No! I don't wanna be here again! I remember the last time! No! Unbelievable! Dear Dream, hello! It's the devs chat, everybody say hello! Hello, Dear Dream Studios! Thanks for playing, leave a Steam review. Uh, first of all, uh, f fuck you. <laughs> I remember this. I remember this. Are you kidding me? No, this actually, sucks. Chat by the game, leave Steam reviews. <laughs> actually, since. Don't ignore me. <laughs> actually, since um, the dev is here, which makes sense. Abigail, why are you here? <laughs> this fucking, don't, don't fucking. This, this is bullshit! After fucking Karin, I'm not doing this again! Gisela found you on the floor, clutching your chest with a look of horror on your face. What happened? A ghost attacked me. A ghost? I don't believe in ghosts, but this might have changed that. It was probably your mind playing tricks on you. Kurt, I dreamt about you being forced to eat a mushroom stew. I don't eat or enjoy mushroom stew. Just a bad dream. Nothing to worry about. Oh, it gets worse! <laughs> God damn it. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm positive. It's my favorite thing about these games is that the, the fucking, the logline of them is, oh, but it did get worse. Oh, no. No, I'm bummed. So I want to smoke until you're here. Why are you in bed with me, Kurt? I'll just catch a quick nap. Gisela's keeping watch outside the bedroom. Please excuse me if I made you uncomfortable. Your blood pressure's starting to rise. The ghost. You patch your surroundings. Kurt, where's my stuff? Your stuff? Gisela found you with none of the things you picked up. Sorry. I'll find them. Give me an hour. I'll find them. Give me an hour. Okay. Got some advice for you. Listen carefully. It might save your life. The witch asks you any weird questions, especially ones that come off as a riddle or something. Change the subject. Refuse to answer. Got it. What happens if I answer her? She'll kill you for answering incorrectly. Thousands have been doomed for getting nervous and lending an answer slip out. Treat the conversation like, a um, an interrogation. Sure. Who do you want to talk to? Oh boy, okay. I, I have to know what your fucking deal is. Gotta run, have a great day, everyone else. Love how fucked up and uncomfortable these games are. <laughs> really hope you make a third game. Good god. Alright. I I'm 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 so I'm so fucking intrigued by what the fuck your deal is. I, I feel like listen, I feel like everybody else is going to be cool, because that's what we did during the last one. Like everybody had a really cool nuanced story. But like you seem to be the one of the central characters here, and I, I have to know what your fucking deal is. I'm sorry. Text. I feel like that the, the the text that was on screen kind of implies he's in bed with you with no pants. I sure hope not. Yes, but I need you to promise you won't tell anyone. Depends on what it is, Kurt. Promise not to tell anyone. Of course, Kurt. Your secret's safe with me. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Kurt will remember that. All right. Cool. 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 Kurt. <laughs> what Kurt's talking about. I apologize. I need to change again. Gone through a few wardrobe changes since you arrived. 
It's got the same outfit. What if I take off my shirt? I, okay. <laughs> I'm being... I'm being seduced. And I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I did... I almost got murdered by a ghost! Not oh, no. checks notes five minutes ago! <laughs> Not at all. Wonderful. See Kurt without a shirt on. He has some sort oh. of spooky tattoo. Kurt? <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that? You can see it? Good. Now you understand what I've been through. Give me a minute. Let's stop business. Okay. The witch drew a penis on his chest. Why the gun? That... Kurt? That was... A skeleton. Kurt, why do you have that weak-ass gun in your Oh! Head? He had a- he had a ske- that was- he did not have a body. That was a skeleton. I saw that. Why do you have a gun? Do you know what this is? Oh, that's a, a shitty gun. gun. A shitty gun, yes. That's enough. Which is extremely fast. Dual. Guns don't work on her. But I have a plan. I need you to find Giselle's bear trap and set it for her. Once she's immobilized, put her in the ground. Why can't Gisela do that for you? Gisela doesn't know that I have this gun. She thinks I got rid of it earlier. Gisela's fundamentally against guns. I don't want to break her focus. We need her to be alert. Please don't mention the gun to anyone. Understood? Sure, Kurt. Thank you. I'm taking a big risk by letting you have this. Not to carry it, I'll leave it in the bedroom. I am going to keep that on me. I'm gonna keep that motherfucking thing on me. It's too bad it's kind of shitty, but it'll work. Uh. No, that's a pretty decent. That's a. That's a. It's a Beretta. That's, yeah. Uh, I guess that's fair enough. Uh, shitty's, shitty's the wrong word. Okay. I cannot believe talking to Kurt gets you the blicky. <laughs> Rest. Uh, no resting with her around. Exit the bedroom. All right. Now, get the strap and head on out. That's, uh, I need you, oh, darling, I need you to put that down. That's the wrong strap. We don't have time for that right now. We're being hunted by the Baba Yaga. <laughs> I'll get pegged later. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm fine now. Kurt was a little creepy, but I'm fine. Did he say something awful to you? No. Gisela's demeanor has changed. Tell her about the gun. Uh, no. No, I don't. I don't no, think I'll... No, I don't think I will. I don't, th I don't think I'll do that. Set against time. Sorry. Need to tell me if he gave you anything. Guns, landmines, grenades. Landmines? Really? I am not joking around with you. Understood? Relax, Gisela. He didn't give me any landmines. The witch has Kurt as acting irrationally. He'll try to take her down, even if that means collapsing the mansion on top of us. No need to worry, I've worked with all three. Forget I even mentioned it. Found you circled up in ball earlier. What happened? Was Dimitri's ghost? He was very unfriendly. I can't imagine him being rude. Sure it was him? He still had on his lab coat. Hmm. Don't think that ghost was Dimitri. Even if it was, he should be friendly if Kurt's around. Sounds like you got a little scared. And the slides are on again. Did you fix the fuse box? Hell no! They're not that fixed it while you were napping. Go talk to her and sell her. She found something you might be interested in. Appreciate the heads up. Come see me again if you get scared. Okay? Sure. Don't waste time. Come right back up here. Okay. Oh! Almost forgot. Take this. Candle. I will take that. Yes. Add a candle to your inventory. Nice. Thanks, Gisela. Of course. Right there! Ugh. Power's still having issues. Why are you holding a knife behind your back? Hello. You're the intruder? Oh, so this is the Baba Yaga. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Were you expecting something else? Thought you'd be older. Little old me. Don't be scared. I'm not here to hurt you. I do have a question, though. Did you come on your own free will, or were you sent? Remember back to Kurt's advice. Tell me what you want, witch. I need you to convince Gisela to leave the mansion. Leave the mansion? Yes. If you do so, I'll leave you alone. What happens to Kurt if I do that? I just want to talk to him. 
privately. <laughs> I, I just want to talk to him. I, I just, just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to make him into soup. I just want to talk to him. We have a lot of catching up to do. We used to be friends. Can you believe it? Sure. Look, I'm sure he's told you about me. He's paranoid right now. Don't believe anything he says. Get Gisela to leave him alone, and I'll handle the rest. Okay? You got it. You're sweet as a pound cake. Thank you. Got something for you. Don't ask where I got it. But it should take her legs right off. Enjoy. You've got to be fucking kidding. <laughs> you've got you've to be joking. No. Bert did, in fact, not give you a landmine. Are we sure this is the actual Baba Yaga, not just John Wick? I I don't want to take the landmine. I love how we have the clarification on they answered incorrectly. And from Cooking Companions, that was all the wrong answer. No, I'll, yeah, I'll take the, I'll take the mine for now. And my dear inventory. You want to come with me? I'm sure they talk if I vouch for you. I appreciate the offer, but no, I'll be watching from a distance. I have owls everywhere. No need to get my cauldron dirty. Goodbye. Thanks again. Which leaves you alone in the hallway. She was sweet. Hey! Heard some talking head to investigate. Who are you talking to? Gisela. Might not be ready for the truth. Tell her about meeting the witch. Um. I think you should be honest. John Wick gave me a landmine! I'm gonna... I'm talking to nobody. Talking to myself helps me stay organized. Sorry. That's fine. Let me know if I can help, okay? Of course. Later. I want to I want to see where this goes. I'm 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 choosing things that I think will prolong what's going on here for the minute cuz I'm I'm so curious. Hi. Fuse box was repaired. What'd you find? You love asking questions, huh? Looks like Renata will remember that. Ugh. Okay. Don't worry about that right now. While you were resting, the witch taunted Kurt mercilessly. He panicked, ordering Gisela to burn some notebooks and items in the mansion. No clue it was on him. He also brought out some new weapons to take down the witch. New weapons? A bear trap, a gun, and a big rug. That was a big rug, a weapon. Covers the bigger floor holes, duh. Gisela used one to let an intruder fall to their death. She was hooked after it worked. Just disgusting. Looks like a great opportunity to ask Renata some questions. My god. Uh, what's up with the phone? You're still using letters for orders instead of the phone. Why? Kurt's really fond of blackmailing people over the phone. It's bugged, so I wouldn't say anything incriminating into it. Okay. So what? casually! So casual. Oh my god, okay, wait. He's blackmailing people? It's... It, it's nice to know we're in such good company. You know? Yeah. He's out of touch and rich. Why would he be blackmailing? He's out of touch and rich. Why would he be blackmailing people? You think he's rich? He knows that others are listening on the other side, right? Every phone's tapped. Longest governments fear the citizens. There will always be... What? Sister. Is Kurt the Unabomber? Are you gonna... Are you gonna talk to... Listen. I... I know, listen, I understand that it's easier and makes more sense to say, eat your cake and have it too, but you can't be putting it in your manifestos. Your brother will recognize. <laughs> None what of you are going to get that! Why did I make that joke? Nobody's going to get that! What did that mean, Hayden? <laughs> That's a deep cut. That's a deep cut, if any of you know the lore. I'm sure it is. If it, I'm stupid though. If if anybody that's sometimes you make jokes for you. <laughs> no, I get that. Look at most of my content. You it's literally edit, editor, you have to leave that joke in so that people in the comments can uh so that people in the comments can be like, mm -hmm. no, I get it. Uh, I don't get it. What's the reference? Con. It's funny to criticize about our current situation. Even countries like America are spying on their citizens. Huey Newton, we know. X Mal Sis! Uh, my sister! This is my sister in Christ! 
Wait, did did we already know when this takes place? I have no clue. Because this gives away when it takes place. Why are icons of the civil rights movement being spied on in R, intimidated R. murdered? We're not different than that. We're that. What the fuck is going on? Our government is just worse than hiding it. They're starting to fear them if you have nothing to hide, Renata. I... Go on. You... I'm sorry, Renata. I don't know what came over me. That's okay. Is this... You should know, though. They don't exactly give you fair trials. Is she okay? It's the witch communism? I or are they fearing <laughs> communism? Nobody gets it. I'm, no, so, I'm so glad what that if the... you get it. Wait, maybe the... Maybe the witch is capitalist. Maybe. Maybe the witch is capitalism. You're so right. And thus, over the cauldron, you see their true face. Mike Pence! Ah! <laughs> Listen, sometimes, sometimes I'm gonna make jokes that you're gonna have to Google. I don't know what to tell you. I refuse to dumb down my humor for you. <laughs> no, it's, that's cool. That's rad. Did they give you one? No. Informants went to the police. I was enjoying some broadcast- Oh, yeah! Okay. Yep, 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 yep. You know the kind, right? Nothing. Kurt must still have a handle on it. You can't- Kurt's no longer in charge here. This is an investigation now. You're dumb. I like that. <laughs> You're dumb. I like that. I like that in a man. I like the hug ba called- Based, or not a based. I- I have to- I don't, I don't have any other questions. To your I don't know what the fuck is going on. This means we know Dreadweight takes place at least 20 years after Cooking Companions, as Cooking Companions takes place after the whole Domer. Oh, okay. Must be something to help us in the kitchen. Are you hungry? No, hard to be hungry with the witch grouping around. <laughs> Thought you might say that. Let's see what we can find downstairs. Okay. Past the crack in the wall, there's some hallway that connects to a creepy set of stairs going down. You go on ahead, I'll be right behind you. You got it, Renata. Don't fall into any chasms. Follow Renata's instructions, get down to the kitchen. Please don't push me. I have a long sordid history with like I have a long sordid history with uh long staircases. Only one blanket? Kurt spares. Oh, all these stairs. skull stairs. Bread. Hello, Bread. Found you. You wanna roll? You nod. Great. Yeah. Getting You need to go back to the cabin. Stop listening to him. You're smarter than this. Everything can return to normal, but you need to go home. You feel Potato starting to wake up from his nest. Oh, I mean, uh, how about another cornbread classic? I mean, uh, what did the butcher say to his victim? Give up? Have a knife death? <laughs> you shake your head. Well, I can't all land. Later. Install odds. Bread's awful pun jokes are improving. Hmm. You head to the kitchen to grab a snack. <laughs> Bread. Hello? Oh. Great. More faulty wiring. Place stinks. Why didn't anyone clean up this molding food? Molding food? It stinks down here? Can't you smell it? No. An oven. A cold wind blows through the middle. Ventilation must be working correctly. Renata, is this thing working? Yeah, it's a little old, but if you tinker with it enough, it'll fire up. I'm gonna look around for some food. Get working. Might be fun to put something in there and melt. Well, any items you burn in the oven will be permanently destroyed. Not the right item. Discover an alternate route. There's currently nothing inside the oven. Oh, I keep instinctively hitting the wrong button. Uh, this is too hard. Gun. Renata. She's gone. Oh God! It didn't even give me. It didn't even get. I didn't even get a choice. I was- I was this close to putting the landmine in it. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh! You are having a nightmare. Open your eyes. Wider. Kurt? Oh! Memories are bleeding into yours. Do you enjoy it? You fight the urge to scream. Do I catch you speaking with that witch again? I'll burn you myself. 
I'll burn you myself. Some sicknesses take years to kill you. I would lay in alleyways hoping that no one would notice me suffering. Unable to crawl, all I could do was observe. I couldn't afford a doctor, not even bread that was a week old. The elders took pity on me, bringing garbage from the inn so I could eat. Like everyone else, they eventually start coming. When I died, something felt very wrong. After the air left my lungs, about five minutes passed. I let in a large gasp of air, coughing so loudly it woke people up. I was cured. Coming back always removed the illness. Something. Something I took for granted. Ooh. Is Gisela's cuddle times? Are you awake? Gisela? You've been dreaming about Kurt. Kurt's memories might bleed into you from time to time. You'll learn to ignore them. His memories? There were side effects to bringing you here. Try not to panic. You are safe with me. Um, yes, I am. Where's Renata? I'm sorry. Renata is gone. She was right behind me. Did you find her body? No. We found you on the ground with your head between your hands. On some blood nearby, but nobody. That witch. Her technique is flawless. We'll need to change our strategy going forward. What do you mean? No more going downstairs, unless we are moving as a group. Did Renata mention anything about a bear trap? Oh, did she mention about the bear trap? No. Let's search up here then. She's messing with the power. Most places would be a little harder to see. Where's Kurt? He was grabbing something from the hallway. You left him alone? Kurt doesn't need my protection. Why'd he hire you as a bodyguard, then? Listen. When Kurt wants to put himself in danger, I let him. I'll protect you and the others, but I wasn't hired just to protect him. You might not get that now, but you will. I don't understand. Kurt has started to act irrationally. Might be his way of grieving over Dimitri, or he is losing his mind. Kurt's in the foyer. Go find him. Okay. Gisela? Yeah? Why are you in bed with me? I needed a nap. I'll do it again. Same goes for Kurt. You got it. I'll nap in my room instead. No, no, do it again! Gisela? In fact, you can keep doing it. Thank you for I'll get the spray me. bottle. Oh, you won. And like Kurt, I respect you. I wouldn't leave you down there with a witch. You are always welcome in the bed. <laughs> Thanks, Gisela. That's it. Over to the hallway. Hmm. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Very good. I respect it. What a James. Kurt? What a James. Hello again! Max, you scared the hell out of me. Better me Hi, than Doc. Ma'am! And you look finding the box keys? A wooden duck and a wooden rabbit? No, sorry. You seen the witch creeping around here yet? You decide to lie to Mags. No, I've heard some noises, but I haven't seen her face to face yet. God! Be dead if she saw you, best to avoid her. Say, heard you spoke with Clover earlier, correct? The rabbit? Yeah. She asked you to kill Kurt? Wow! Pointed. Uh, yeah, she did. Thank you for telling me that. Being honest with me, I'd like to give you another bribe! Oh. Add it to your inventory. Thanks, Max. I'm sure this will be useful. You'd be surprised what you can do with a dead person's clothes. Remember, I can get you off this island if you open the box, but there's also another way. I'm listening. If you kill the witch, the hunt should end. Works with Gisela and find the bear trap and lure her out. They're out of the way. I can give you plenty of time to open the box and give me what's inside. Max, what the hell is in the box? Something that can save us. Later! Max waddles down the hallway. Maybe you should tell Clover about Max's questions. There you are. Sorry, Kurt, I was attacked and passed out. I was totally not talking to a duck just now. You didn't see shit. <laughs> I apologize. I'm getting more and more depressed. Okay, Dimitri, but why does the... Remember Dimitri's tie in your inventory. This could give some sort of closure to Kurt's grief. Give him the tie. Yes. Kurt, I found this. Thank you. I'll give him a hero's funeral once this is all over. Looks like Kurt will remember that.
Not of everyone I've ever met, he was irreplaceable. Why did she let you live? Huh? She's killing everyone else but me. This could have all been over by now. Kurt. Yes? What did you do to make her this angry at you? I... I told someone to steal one of her horses. Stealing horses is a crime, Kurt. Instructing someone to commit a crime is also a crime. But your folder's a kilometer high. What? Are you remembering? Remembering what? You confessing to a crime, Kurt? No. Listen, we need to find that bear trap. It's either in the cellar or to the box to your right. You should be able to pry it open if you get a wedge in. Kurt, what's in the box? Kurt? Radio is malfunctioning. Once you are hung alone with the bear traps probably in the basement. What do you want to investigate? Uh stay upstairs just better for it. And you're just getting separated from the group. Yeah, I don't want to be alone. Gisella! She's gone. Gisella, come on out. No answer. What do you want to do? Uh check the closet. Maybe something in the closet. Oh shit! A strange dream. A woman stands at the end of the hallway, holding a knife in her hand. She lunges at you, barely missing your jugular vein. You wake in a cold sweat. Haven't heard those words in a while. Keep your eyes closed and stagger downstairs, hitting your head a few times on the wall. Kurt, why'd you leave me alone upstairs? Um, Gisela called me downstairs and needed to discuss our next steps. You didn't- and you didn't get me for that? You need to discuss Dimitri and Renata with- with you. Both of us have been hearing them whispering in the mansion. Have they tried to speak to you yet? I don't think so. Hmm. They try to, so just remember it's probably not real. Ghosts, if you even want to call it that, don't have conversations with the living. If any of them try to speak with you, just run. Understood? Oh, I'm grabbed again. I keep getting fucking yoinked. What the fuck is happening? This is a lot. <laughs> All of the I'm so confused. I'm a little confused as well. <laughs> uh. Damn. Time to read some of these journals. Candles blew out. And the door's locked. Someone there? She's here. Hey! Don't be a crybaby, it's just me! We're impressed. You did a great job getting rid of those two. Can't have more than one Kurt skulking around. You ask Onion what he means. They'd have to, they would have come back just like him, tearing their spirits from their bodies. That was definitely the right move. Oh, Onion! Yeah, buddy? I think it's time. Time for what? The annual chop and comedy competition. Yeah, where's Cabbage? Lost in the vents. Raspberry? Up to no good. Potato? Bowding. That's us nice, then. Hey, you'll be the judge this year, right? You nod. Great! What? I go first, changing things up this year. Had my annual checkup, and this time my liver was giving me problems. I asked my doctor if she had something for my liver. She gave me a bag of onions! It's a special joke just for our wonderful judge. Your turn, Brad. What? I. Brad. Take a deep breath. I haven't been feeling so good lately. I... 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 I have a yeast infection. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> okay, the build-up to that was pretty good. I won't- I won't lie. Oh my god. Winner of the annual Chomping Comedy Competition is bread. I... Give us a speech, Brad. Uh, work on it later, Brad. Thanks for judging. Can't wait for next year. Later. Hmm. Thank goodness it's over. You head out to plot your next victim's demise. Once you can figure out how to unlock the door. Are you okay? Ugh. Slowly stand up. Legs aren't broken. Yay! That was probably a long fall. See if you can make your way back upstairs. Okay. Ledge has saved your life. 
Walk forward, blindly feeling the stone walls. Your eyes begin to adjust to the light. Hey! Clover? Yeah! What are you Not doing creepy down at there? All. Not creepy in the slightest. It gets the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Please no. don't. Dimitri's <laughs> ghost pulled me down here. You're lucky. Could have reached the bottom. I need to get back upstairs. Can you help me? Depends. Have you dealt with Kurt yet? Oh. What's taking so long? Clover. If you're not quick about it, I'll crack open your ribcage and sew Max inside of you. Yeah. I'm not scared of you, Clover. You aren't. You will be. Keep going down this hallway and you'll find two rooms. One's an ancient laboratory that not even Dimitri knows about. The other's a special room that Kurt used to conduct ceremonies in. Past those, you'll find a staircase going up that connects with the kitchen. They heard the noise earlier. I'd hurry if I were you. Got it. Thanks, Clover. Just kill Kurt. Clover hops away. Where do you want to go? Uh, ceremonial room. I want to know what the fuck's up. Throne looks like it could seat too. Sword resting on it's completely rusty. Probably just an old one used for ceremonies. What do you want to do? Ah, uh, sit. Kneel before your queen. Read one of the books. You look through some of the books. Most of them are languages you understand, but one stands out. Collection of letters. Some spots are smudged, but are for all the pages. I share the regret expressed in your letter of at the refusal of the Soviet government to admit the food which the United States government offered the population in response to your appeal of July 4th. Immediately after the receipt of Mr. Molotov's rejection of my offer, I made it clear that the offer continues to stand and that the food continues to be available. Since it is our joint purpose to aid the people of, in spite of the obstacles which the occupation authorities of that are created, I've directed the Secretary of State, Director of Mutual Society, to place quantities of these foodstuffs at your disposal for use in relieving the suffering of the people of, in a in the best available manner. At the same time, we shall continue to make dear to the Soviet government the offer that which was made on July 10th, 1953, was motivated by solely by the humanitarian impulses of that food was available to the government. Occupation sterling it was eligible. Put the book back. Uh, I want to search the lab. Odd chemical smell still haunts the room. Hello? I want to check bookshelves. Barely make the book. Dinosaurs, huh? No books on herbalism. So some of the vials could be hazardous. Sniff one. Wet dog mixed with black mold. Leave. Where the hell did they go? Kurt! Gisella! No answer. How about this thing turn off? Search the radio for an opening or power source. We can't find one. Make your way upstairs. Kurt! Gisella! Which room? No answer. What the fuck? Who the hell was that? Is that Dimitri? I'm gonna search the bedroom or head back downstairs to the cellar bedroom. Kurt, Gisella? Not in here either. What do you want to do? Uh, back downstairs. Head down to the cellar. Aha! Found some fuel for the lantern. It really makes the room more inviting. I was yelling at the top of my lungs. How'd you get past me? I am a panther when finding the trail. I was using some secret passages to move through the mansion earlier. She's hiding in the walls. In the walls? Yes. Heard her catching insects and eating them. Probably, probably needs the protein. Gross. Why isn't Kurt with you? Needed to grab a decrepit tom. This isn't exactly the best time to be reading books, Gisela. Said it had incantation that would weaken a witch's bones or something. Weaken a witch's bones? believe in sorcery? I've seen Dimitri come back from the dead. Kurt has some of the rarest thumbs in the entire world beneath us. When did you see Dimitri come back from the dead? Uh, be back in a minute. Gisela! Gisela sprints into the, s <laughs> into the cellar hole in the wall, disappearing. Follow her downstairs, go back up to the foyer. I'm going to follow her. I do not want to be alone. Hear something whispering at the bottom but can't make it out. Hello? Whispering stops. I begin to adjust to the darkness. Your heart slows down. Take a deep breath and begin your descent. Oh, God! Again! Feel your body being dragged into the foyer. Wake up. I said, Everybody wake up. up. Hello again. Oh, she's older. What? 
Didn't you notice? She's older than she was before. No, I mm -hmm. noticed. It's just what? Why did you kill them? They had nothing to do with Kurt. They'd gladly give him up. Sweetie. Because I wanted to. Dimitri. He really smells like he's from the East. Did you notice? No. It's distinct. Sorry. I'm getting hungry. I see Gisela still around. I'd like you to change that. You'll have to convince me to kill her. That's not happening. I wanted to give you something. Let her step on it and I'll handle the rest. Why should I help you with this? Oh, sweetie. I can rip the spirit out of a flying bird. Imagine how easy I could tear yours out with this knife. Here. <gasps> Been looking for that. This is next to the bedroom door. Just get her to step on it. I'll take care of the rest. Sounds like an easy way to be killed. You'll be fine, sweetie. See you again soon. Cut her hand. I noticed that. That was really cool. It's down in the basement. You head upstairs. Barely see down the hallway. Kurt! No answer. Might be a great opportunity to set up the bear trap. What do you want to do? I will set the bear trap. Place it in a spot which the witch will blindly walk into close to Kurt's bedroom. You scared the hell out of me! Oh, that's... Why aren't you opening the box yet? I'm trying to avoid the witch and these ghosts creeping around. Unreal! Did you talk to Gisela about luring the witch into a trap yet? No. Unacceptable! You're able to fly around the mansion, right? Why aren't you giving me intel on everyone? I... I'm keeping an eye on Kurt. And? Kurt wasn't able to find the decrepit tome downstairs. I'd avoid mentioning it to him. Wouldn't want to end up like me. I wasn't expecting a book to be effective against a witch. You know anything useful? Bear trap? You were supposed to find one! I was busy profiling Kurt, Max. Would it even work? How do you kill a witch? Burner? Burner? You think fire could stop her? I he's been reading too much of the Malleus Malef Maleficarum on Kurt's bulk shelf. So, Malleus Maleficarum. Damn. She's a foot in all of the elements. Not even a direct lightning strike can kill her. Sounds like an That's exaggeration, great. Max. How about sharing a weakness or two with me instead? Can she break out of metal restraints? Take this and stop asking me questions. <gasps> key. I take a key. Add a rusty key to your inventory. Thanks, Max. Just kill the witch! Max and Clover. One of them is hiding something. Well, they both are. But let's let's be real. Let's be real with ourselves here. Kurt. I painted over it. It was such a beautiful mural before. Someone came down the stairs. Grip your knife and get ready for what's next. Wow. You're stronger than I thought. I'm going to enjoy this. You underestimated me. Quiet. Earlier, you didn't tell me about a fifth person. Rhyna, you were wrong about Potato. Raspberry, is it a past your bedtime? I don't care what the others think. I'll lock you in the basement again, Potato. Typical Raspberry. Listen. Kurt's still alive, but you don't have to stop after tonight. You can keep going. We can keep going. Come back to the cabin. Selena, Oleg, Bolek. It's the only way to stop him. She's not stopping, Ryder. No brakes, just gasoline and fire. Ignore him, come home. There's no food in the cabin. The cellar has rotted. Bone broth gets disgusting after a while. The world is changing. You want to be part of that, right? You nod. Enough! You need to choose cabin or carnage. Do I secret a save before deciding? I will do that. I'm a little... Ooh, mm. I'm I'm super intrigued as to what the fuck is going on here. 
but I'm not super... I, I'm intrigued, but I don't know what's happening. I'm going to... I want him to kill the witch. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with potato. I wanna see what I wanna see what happens if I You made the right decision. Metamorphosis the achievement was called. We need you to shape this world. You stabbed him six times before. You're siding with him She grows wise in her old age. Respect your elders, Rhina. Good goodbye, wretch. She doesn't get us. Us? Potato jumps on your back, nestling himself in your hair. You grip your knife, getting ready for what's next. Take a seat. You realize this is permanent, correct? Kurt, I just want to forget prison. There may be unintended side effects to the process. A complete erosion of certain emotion, gaps of permanent memory loss. Fake memory contrib- contributions, auditory hallucinations. This would be the first test on a human. Do you consent to the procedure? Yes. Please sign this. Done. That was quick. Thank you, Renata. In exchange for the procedure, I'll need you to work through these encounting documents. I'm bankrupt. They'll try to arrest me if I don't get my books in order. It might take me a while, but consider it done. Thank you. Something wrong, Kurt? Papers are signed. No, let me gather my tools. We'll begin shortly. I'm not performing the procedure, Kurt. This hasn't been tested properly. She could wind up paralyzed or inhuman. Just help me in the chambers. If things go badly, we'll lock her away downstairs and offer her to the witch. If she becomes violent, I'll crush her skull myself. I need her assistance to keep them away from the island. Kurt, I'm not performing the procedure. I'm not asking, Dimitri. I'll screw this up by myself. I need you with me. Don't make me throw you down the well. Fine. She'll stay out of our way, correct? Correct. Give you full permission to end the experiment when you choose. Kurt? What was that noise? It sounded like Gisella. Need you to be honest with me. Has the witch spoken with you? Yeah. Twice now. Did she mention anything about the oak tree? No. Thank you for letting me know. I... Oh, it's... I'm so... I'm so intrigued because the thing is I need to know if he's how much of a victim he is in this. Because it it feels like she did something to him and he knows more than he's supposed to and that's why we're going after him. So we're finding out who the true monster really is. Yeah, I want to f- that's what I'm trying to figure out. I want to figure out how how much He's. I. I. I want to know how much he's contributed to. Go check on Gisella. Beware of those. Beware of those who fight monsters, for they may become monsters themselves. Exactly. Sure, Kurt. We have a bedroom making your way downstairs. What? <laughs> All right. Sh okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is a dating sim per se. Uh. It looked more like like turn-based strategy, like SNES style. No, somebody asked if this was a dating sim. I I don't know. Oh, hmm. She tore out my eye. She then still has the knife. She stabbed Kurt before fleeing downstairs. Kurt came back afterwards and my memories did too. What memories? Painful ones. The casualties I caused. They can never be forgiven. Where's Kurt? In his bedroom? Let me talk with him in private. We'll make our next moves. Stay down here. The discussion might get heated. Of course, Gisela. Discussion might get heated. What the hell do I It was the heat of the moment. I'm going to... I want to know what's going on with Kurt and Gisela. 
I don't want to talk to the witch. I don't know what's up. Sorry to interrupt. Where's Gisela? She climbed through a hole in the closet. I thought she was your bodyguard. Why'd she leave? I spoke with Dimitri and Renata. They told me they have something to show you. After all this, why the hell would I do that? Suit yourself. Dimitri was in the hallway near the chest. Renata was in the kitchen. Be careful what you say to them. Vengeful spirits not only rush in when you try to deceive them. Come back here after you're done. I have something I need to show you. I need to talk with you. Come here. I'm... I'm done. Okay. So... That's a lot of decisions. I want to talk to Gisela. I'll be right back, Kurt. Gisela, you wanted to talk? I'm done. Done with what? Done with Kurt. Done with this mansion. I cannot stop her in this state. I am sorry, but I am leaving. Gisela, you can't leave us. How will you make it to land? The water's freezing. Don't worry about me. I'll swim to Denmark or further west. I'd take you with me, but you're not strong enough for that journey. Gisela, just help me kill the witch first. I've been in thousands of fights. I've never lost one before, though. You can't win a fair fight against a witch. I thought Kurt- I thought Kurt was paying you to protect him. Kurt didn't keep up his part of the bargain. I'm getting more and more memories. I need to leave for my own sanity. What do I tell Kurt if he asks where you went? Tell him I left, because he went too far. I'll pass it on, Gisela. Thank you. Hopefully. Hopefully we meet again. She's all gone. The witch will um, you now. What do you want to do? I'll miss you. And your arms. Oh, boy. I'm... The, the one... I'm gonna have to play this in, again. Because my one critique is that I don't feel like I've made a lot of choices. Like, I don't feel like I've made a lot of meaningful decisions as of the minute. And you think that might just be because of the route you ended up on? I think so. I, I think I might have. Like, maybe I wasn't fast enough with some shit. I, but I don't. But I don't know, like, reasonably what I could have done to so far. But I want to, they said there's more than one ending, um, or I saw somebody, uh, earlier when we were raided, Wick said that there was, uh, uh that there was more than one, uh, that there was more than one ending. So I think okay. I, so I'll, pl I'll play that, like, I'll, I'll finish this out and we'll end the stream when I get an ending, but we'll, next week we'll pick this up again and we'll see if we can't get another one. Sounds right. I need you to back from real quick. Give me one second. Okay. For now, I'm just gonna keep going with my gut. Like I said, I, I have to know what the fuck's going on. Back of your head sending you to the ground. You ah. did nothing to stop Gisela from leaving. Be a death sentence, Kurt. You're given the greatest secret humans have ever known and you squandered it. Dimitri is dead. Renata is dead. I'll be gone soon enough. What's that? You of all people should know how easy it is to spy on someone. Kurt, put the gun down. Where'd you get the radio? Found your radio in the hallway. Your radio? I've never seen that before in my life. She would never have found it if not for you. Drag this woman to hell. You feel the witch's knife against your throat, cradling your head in one arm. She stops you from going into shock, whispering words into your ear. You've done all you could do, child. Rest now. Your torment is over. You're blanketed by the abyss as your heart beats one last time. Is this it? You nod. Leaving the radio inside was a great idea. Well done. Hurry up. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, you dug that up faster than a truffle pig. 
Don't bother looking for the key. Just rip it apart with your talons. Ugh, I guess he couldn't preserve their bodies. I just failed attempts for the vessel. Shut the box. I can't look at them anymore. At least it's there, right? It's beautiful. So warm. The last vessel. Mind if I hold it? Yes. Leave it alone. Can I at least ask him about his secret before you do it? Shake your head. Ugh. Leave me with his research papers. I'll figure it out. You tell Potato what you're doing with them. Oh, wow! You ask Potato if you should light the box ablaze. No. Let him panic if he finds it dug up. Come. Just now, Kurt. On your knees. Don't even think about trying to use the gun. Must have found it, right? You nod. I've dreaded this day almost my entire life. I know you're mad about the horse. Where's Ivan? Ivan's been dead for generations. He was held fully accountable for his crimes. I noticed the books you've been reading. Wanted to be closer to the hunts. That was a few hundred years ago. I've learned to respect and forgive witches. That's a lie. You ended up killing more innocents than witches. You said you went infertile from them, but you caused that. You've always blamed women, Kurt. You took shortcuts at every opportunity. You're no scientist. Dimitri would be ashamed if he knew the truth. Ultimately, though, you're just a cheap imitation of me. You aren't fit to be the bones in my broth. You're right. I help nobody with my expertise. All, all I wanted was to be remembered. I'll make sure nobody can remember you. I'm ready. Lift the weight off of me. If you see Gisela again, tell her I'm sorry it stopped working. I'm not telling her anything, Kurt. Oh, I, uh... Kurt, how'd you get her, how'd you get her to go along with this? Kurt? Yes? Checking identification before anyone leaves the dock. Where are you coming from? Is this an interrogation? Might turn into one. Visiting some friends in Strassund. Don't lie to me, Kurt. Let's try this again. Where are you coming from? I'm sure there's a misunderstanding. No, Kurt. Gisela. Renata. Dimitri. They aren't going to help you, Kurt. Your little cult's under investigation. Just be honest. I can reduce your sentences if you work with me. And if I refuse? If you refuse? You'll never see the sun again, Kurt. Miss. Are you detaining us or is backup on the way? I don't need backup for you, Kurt. Everyone here knows who you are. No running away this time. I see. Gisela. You hear muffled voices as someone carries your limp body to the ship. You don't wake for hours. Why make her undying? None of this comes back to us if she's dead. We might need her to lie to authorities. It'll give us some time to barter with her. With what? We don't have any money, just bottles in the basement. We can give her the investigator. We can get her limbs to regenerate. She'll be able to devour her over and over and over again. She'll never have to leave the cabin again. Dimitri, this is the only way. I need you to help me with this. All you need to do is get her to consume one of my hairs, just like Gisela and Renata. Consider it done. will have a power of all for one. I didn't hesitate when you offered it to me, did I? True. I'm curious. How long did you test it prior to them? I only took two test subjects, but it worked. Frustrating to see that witch do things so effortlessly. No rituals, no forbidden alchemy, just results. Once ventured into her cabin to try and find out how she does it. And I was horrified. Kept people, young, old, barely alive as prisoners. Just stockpiling food for the winter. It was years ago. I've only had nightmares since visiting there. Only nightmares? No normal dreams? Are you exaggerating? No. Getting back to the investigator, who will wipe her memory like Renata and Gisela should be easier to manage. 
There's a few ingredients, though. Ice pick, mercury, deer bones. A little more difficult than the supply orders. I'll take care of it. Giselle and Renata will assist with her aftercare. They won't ask any questions? No. The stage of mutiny. Do another memory wipe. Kurt? We have nothing but time now. Nobody can stop the both of us. What about the witch? We have Gisela. She won't be a problem. Promise? Promise. Please. Don't make so this that woman. was a lie. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> don't make this woman's corpse here. She had nothing to do with this. Done. Thank you. Dreadwitch of the East. Despite everything, I wish I could serve at your side. You would have been worthless. You are nothing but a cheap magician to me. Egg. <gasps> I'm not sure why he was quoting my dad, but okay. Uh, speaking of my dad. Me, perhaps. <laughs> Okay. Speaking of my dad, speaking of people's dads, that guy looked like mine because he died. Renata? Anyway, she got you too. It's only a matter of time. No chance against a witch. How do you look different? Everyone sees us in different ways. I was trying to warn you. Why'd you keep jumping back? You look like a vengeful spirit. Me? <laughs> Don't be silly. Dimitri, is he here with us? No. He is consumed by grief. No way to reach him now. He loved him. What about Max and Clover? Are they here too? Not exactly. They were Kurt's first test subjects. Imperfect and lingering. That will see them where we're going. Renata? Where are we going? I don't know. But I wanted to wait for you before making that plunge. Thank you. She's forgotten about us. We can move on when we want. And the last minute business? Gisela, shouldn't we wait for her? No, she'll be fine. As long as the two don't cross paths, she'll find some sort of peace in her life. Come, time to see the next step. Don't dissipate, okay? Making sense nice. of it. We saw Rada's ending. Okay. It's done. Why didn't you brew a stew with some of his hair? I could have landed a sip just enough to learn a secret. <sighs> Why didn't you let me ask him? You'd help Tato. Where to next? Should we start with the A's? Argentina, Afghanistan, Angola? You tell him. Oh, wow. That'll be more dangerous than Kurt. You sure about this? You nod. Okay. Getting rid of the oldest will make everything a little easier. They're fearless. The rest aren't as brave. They won't be using forbidden texts like Kurt, right? You shrug. Ugh. Just one request. No more cults. We won't get as lucky with the next one. They'll probably have guns. You just almost taught me not they're nothing to be afraid of. You're a fool. Always have been. Let's get going. It's time for a new adventure. Unlocked artwork in the gallery. Thanks for playing. Leave a Steam review. A well? You discovered the well. Find it for an additional ending. Continue to New Game Plus. Unique content. And your hearts will carry over. Oh! A nice detail. It's me, Cabbage! Do you recognize me? Of course I do. Woo! Had a weird look on your face again. You're here with some hints on the other endings, right? You nod. Wonderful! Now there's a few ways I can give you hints. I can either spoil everything like a thumbnail on YouTube. God damn! Oh! Vicious. Right in the jugular! Oh Absolutely my god! Absolutely vile. Or I can give you the vaguest of hints. This might be a good time to save the game so you can come back to the hints later. 
I can do that? Hang on. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. You can save during a post credit scene. That means I can keep looking at the hints. Thank fucking God. Um. Let's. We're gonna we're gonna title screen for now. Close your eyes and think hungry thoughts. Okay. I love I love how stupidly QC that fucking logo is, considering the content of this game. So we've got some ideas. Sick. I think. Rat. I think I think I have some idea of what's going on. Crazy. Um. I, I'm going to, uh, next week when we come back to this, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pick up with the hints and we'll see what we can get. Um, because I want, I want to know, I want to get everything in this one, because like with the other ones, I feel like that's how we'll get the complete story, and I'm really intrigued by this. My opening critique on a first playthrough, um, on a first playthrough, it doesn't feel like you have a lot of agency, and it's also not super clear how long you have to do things or if you have the right shit to do any given thing at any given minute. That's my one biggest complaint. Um, like, I feel like... I feel like I'm doing a lot of shit and I feel like I'm put in a lot of places, but that I can't tell... There's no tangible sense... They, they said at the, at the beginning, right? They're like, that it's not gonna feel like you have a tangible sense of doing anything, and I think that that's... Fair, and I want to play a little bit more before I make that like a definitive complaint. But on a first playthrough, that's my biggest complaint. Um, I think it really capitalizes on its atmosphere, which is really good. It's something that the last game did incredibly well as well. Um, I think I stand by what I said at the beginning. I feel like the art style inconsistency does take me out of it a little bit. Um. The fact that, like, the environments are just 3D renders, that the, the items, the environments are 3D renders, instead of being illustrated, illustrated, are, does take me out of it a little bit, alongside the fact that the character, like, Gisela's uh, portrait suddenly turning into a fucking PC-98 game out of nowhere... I think, yeah, the, the content warning was not exhaustive enough. Um, however, I think I'm going to hold off on saying that those things are definitively not great for the minute, because something tells me there's a reason for that. I feel like there's a reason that the art style changes so drastically between cutscenes. But it doesn't have the same visual cohesion that the first game had for the minute. Um, otherwise, I really like it. I think that, like, the scares are great. I do think the story is really interesting. It's caught me. I do want to play more to get, like, the full scope of everything before I have, like, a more definitive opinion. But yeah, on first playthrough, those are the things that stand out to me. Um, I feel like... I feel like there's intentionality behind it, but I could see that, like, the constant changing of, like, visual and UI aspects can be a little confusing. Um, I would have preferred everything be illustrated and, like, a little more consistent visually. But that's it. Uh, that's my only real complaint. And I don't even- and if, if what I'm thinking is happening is true, then that might be intentional, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll come, we'll come back. We'll see more and I'll, you know, and I'm, I'm willing to admit that a bunch of that stuff's nitpicks. That's, that's little stuff in the grand scheme of things. Like that's not going to bump my star review down at all. It's just going to be something that I make note of. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. I want I want to be thorough in my critique, cause the uh because the uh the devs have made it clear that they're willing to to show up and hear about it. Kind of got that happy tree friends kind of intentional tonal whiplash. Don't really know how else to describe it. Yeah, like I feel like the tonal inconsistencies are intentional again because I've played Cooking Companions. I know that they are, and I like them. I think they're great. Um, I think a couple of the scares in this first pass weren't as strong either, but that's, but that I want to save until I've played all of it before I, because, like, I have, I have other things to say about, like, the scares, the theming, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, but I don't want to say anything until I've done everything <laughs> with this one. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yes. Um... Mm -hmm. Tunnel of Lash honestly makes the game more uncomfortable, like, gives the feeling of something's wrong. Yeah! Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, I think that this- I think the Deer Dream really leverages its, uh, its tonal inconsistency for its benefit, I think. I think- I think they're doing it on purpose, and I think they're doing a good job of, um... <laughs> bless you. There's a lot of good intentionality in it, which is why I was so excited for this. But- We'll fuck around with more of that later. More of that next right. week when we come back. For now. <laughs> oh my. You have a hell of timing, Zach. Why? Because we're just welcome ending stream. The, <laughs> I say welcome to the end of the stream. Oh god damn. Oh my god. I'm so happy I made it. Goodbye. And I just had my first. Oh shit.